I'm going to be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook but you could also use a 4 millimeter if that's all you have on hand. I have quite loose tension so it would be like me using a 4 millimeter anyway to get the correct tension but I just drop down normally. But it's just going to be a smaller crochet hook because the pom-poms look better with tighter tension. To start off our pom-poms they need to be divided by chains. Now you can do as many chains as you like. I worked it with three dividing them but I found that too tight across my stitches and then I found that five was too many so I'm going to go with, the, with four. But again you can change it up to however many you like. So one, two, three, four. So you would choose how many you want to do. After you've done like one or two you can tell what it looks like. So after you've done the chain that you want to separate them, then you need to chain three. This loop here, don't work it too tight because we are going to work back into it. So chain three, yarn over, go into that chain there, which is the third crochet, sorry, the third chain from the crochet hook. So one, two, three. So we've yarned over, go into that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop yarn over, pull through two loops, you've got two loops on your crochet hook, yarn over, go back into that same chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, you've got three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over, go into the same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, you have four loops on your crochet hook and we want to keep going until we have five, so one more, so yarn over, go into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two loops. We now have five loops on our crochet hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all five. We are now going to chain three. One, two and three. And see the chain that's here? It's just there that's where we're going to work into with our crochet hook. So yarn over, go into that chain there, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, We've got three loops on our crochet hook, yarn over, go into that same chain, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, you have four loops, yarn over, go into that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two. You now have you now have one, two, five loops on your crochet hook. My yarn's getting stuck. Sort that out. And now we want to yarn over and pull through all loops. If you're having trouble getting through all those four loops, watch what I do with my crochet hook. I yarn over and I turn the tip of my crochet hook up here so it's facing down ways. So it's, it's facing that way when I pull it through. So grab that yarn, turn and pull through. If that's facing down, it doesn't snag on anything where if it's facing up or sideways it's going to get stuck on your crochet loops. We want to make a chain to secure that which is all those stitches there. And now we're going to fold this in half. We're going to fold it away from ourselves so that our stitches are on the right side when you look at the pom-pom. If you fold it towards yourself like that you're looking at the back of the stitches and for me I can't handle that. <laughs> So we want to fold it away from ourselves, so, you, so you fold to the back. Let me do this in one motion. Fold to the back and I'm just picking up the loop on my, on my fingers there and again this loop or this chain stitch that we have here, hang on let me come from the back, this loop here, that's where our crochet hook's going. So go in there this is really hard to show you. See that? Go in there and then pull through and make a slip stitch. 
just give it a gentle tug to tighten that off and now we are going to make the chains that we chose down here so I chose four so we're going to do four chains one two three four then we're going to go to the next space as you could go into here but I am going to choose to go over there and we're going to work a slip stitch you could work a single crochet if you like but I'm going to work a slip stitch we're going to work the amount of chains we chose so I've chosen four one two three four now we're going to chain three one two three I could say chain seven there but I wanted you to choose how many you wanted to do there and then we have to add three for our little pom-pom thingy so third chain from the hook one two three the one that's closest to my thumbnail there I'm gonna yarn over get into that chain pull up a loop yarn over pull through two try not to make these stitches here too tight because I found they do tighten up so go in there, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, you've got three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over, go into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We have four loops on our crochet hook, one more time, yarn over, go into the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. You've got five loops on your crochet hook so yarn over pull through all those stitches we now want to chain three again so don't do this first one too tight because we need to work back into there one two three can someone tell my yarn off because it's getting stuck again I don't know why it's just, just sitting next to me yarn over go into the chain that is closest here so that orange one that we just used to close up those stitches yarn over which I've done there go into that chain yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over go in yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two this will be the last time I tell you to do everything because I'm sure you've got it by now yarn over go into the loop yarn over pull through two oh, sorry pull up a loop yarn over pull through two got four loops yarn over go into there pull up a loop yarn over pull through two we should have five loops on our crochet hook yarn over turn your hook so this bit's pointing down so see how I'm pulling up ah, ah. <laughs> See how I'm pulling up and it's it's making those loops really big. If you do just do it relaxed, it may not go through. It may get stuck. But if you pull those loops, can I do it without dropping any? If you say so yarn over, hold this bit, pull up. Hang on, my tension's gone. Hold this bit pull up, yarn over and pull through. Makes it so much easier. We're going to do a chain to secure that in there just to keep all those stitches in place. We're going to fold it away from us so fold it like that. It's a bit hard to show you on camera you're folding it that way. So, And what I like to do is just put my fingers underneath and fold it up and the chain that is holding these stitches here at the back all together that is where we're putting our crochet hook this one's kind of hiding it's just there I'm trying to get it so my shadow is not going there just in there and make a slip stitch just give it a tug so it's snug and then you're going to do the chains that you've chosen and I've, I've chosen four so one two three four go back down here next available space you've already done that one you can see so this one and work a slip stitch and 
you can see sometimes they look a bit how you're going so you can just get hold of it give it a little squish squishy and it becomes more of a pom-pom just needs a little bit of help at first you got this little pom-pom it's so cute and we're going to work these all the way across you, if you wanted a lot more pom-poms you could instead of let me just pull this stitch out so instead of going in each space that we have which is what I'm going to do you could skip this one and go into that middle stitch of your three three stitches that you have on the row below and that will give you a lot more pom-poms that would pretty much give you double as many I think but I, I like the way those two are spaced out so that's what I'm going to do depends how pom-pom crazy you want to get and I am just going to go into the spaces across but like I said you could go into those other ones if you like so it was chain four and then start your pom-pom again see how that just gives it a little bit more room here before these were very squashed down like that and they pretty much laid just on top just on top of that row there instead of having that little gap to create more of a visual effect so they were just sort of like kind of like that but they just gives it just two extra chains because you've got one extra I had three before on each side and now I've got four just those one extra on each side just gives it a little bit more room so very very cute I cannot wait till this edging's finished so repeat all the way across and I'll meet you when we are up on the other side. Once we get to the end, I've done my chain four. So I've done my bubble, chain four. And then in this last space here, we're just going to make a slip stitch. And then I will just finish off like so. 